Welcome to Liturgy of the Hours with Deacon Kevin. This is a ministry of St. Joseph's Catholic Church in Jacksonville, Florida. God, come to my assistance. Lord, make haste to help me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Come, let us worship our mighty King and Lord. Cry out with joy to the Lord all the earth. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come before him singing for joy. Know that he, the Lord, is God. He made us. We belong to him. We are his people, the sheep of his flock. Go within his gates giving thanks. Enter his courts with songs of praise. Give thanks to him and bless his name. Indeed, how good is the Lord, eternal his merciful love. He is faithful from age to age. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Come, let us worship our mighty King and Lord. Sion, sing, break into song, for within you is the Lord with his saving power. Rise and shine forth, for your light has come, and upon you breaks the glory of the Lord, for the darkness covers the earth, and the thick clouds the people. Zion, sing, break into song, for within you is the Lord with his saving power. But upon you the Lord shall dawn, and in you his splendor shall be revealed. Your light shall guide the Gentiles on their path, and kings shall walk in your brightness. Zion, sing, break into song. For within you is the Lord with his saving power. Wonder and thanksgiving shall fill your heart as the wealth of nations enriches you. You shall be called the city of the Lord, dear to the Holy One of Israel. Sion, sing, break into song, for within you is the Lord with his saving power. You who were desolate and alone, a place unvisited by men, shall be the pride of ages untold and everlasting joy to the nations. Sion, sing, break into song, for within you is the Lord with his saving power. No more shall the sun be your light by day, nor the moon's beam enlighten you by night. The Lord shall be your everlasting light, and your God shall be your glory. Sion, sing, break into song, for within you is the Lord with his saving power. No more for you the setting of suns, no more the waning of moons. The Lord shall be your everlasting light, and the days of your mourning shall come to an end. Sion, sing, break into song, for within you is the Lord with his saving power. The man whose deeds are blameless and whose heart is pure will climb the mountain of the Lord. The Lord's is the earth and its fullness, the world and all its peoples. It is he who set it on the seas, on the waters he made it firm. Who shall climb the mountain of the Lord? Who shall stand in his holy place? The man with clean hands and pure heart, who desires not worthless things, who has not sworn so as to deceive his neighbor. He shall receive blessings from the Lord and reward from the God who saves him. Such are the men who seek him, seek the face of the God of Jacob. O gates, lift high your heads, grow higher ancient doors. Let him enter the King of glory. Who is the King of glory? The Lord, the mighty, the valiant, the Lord, the valiant in war. O gates, lift high your heads, grow higher ancient doors. Let him enter the King of glory. Who is the King of glory? He, the Lord of armies, he is the King of glory. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. King of glory, Lord of power and might, cleanse our hearts from all sin, preserve the innocence of our hands, and keep our minds from vanity, so that we may deserve your blessing in your holy place. The man whose deeds are blameless, and whose heart is pure, will climb the mountain of the Lord. Praise the Eternal King in all your deeds. Let all men speak of the Lord's majesty 
and sing his praises in Jerusalem. O Jerusalem, holy city, he scourged you for the works of your hands, but will again pity the children of the righteous. Praise the Lord for his goodness and bless the king of the ages so that his tent may be rebuilt in you with joy. May he gladden within you all who were captives, all who were ravaged by, may he cherish within you for all generations to come. A bright light will shine to all parts of the earth. Many nations shall come to you from afar and the inhabitants of all the limits of the earth drawn to you by the name of the Lord God, bearing in their hands their gifts for the King of heaven. Every generation shall give joyful praise in you and shall call you the chosen one through all ages forever. Go then, rejoice over the children of the righteous who shall all be gathered together and shall bless the Lord of the ages. Happy are those who love you and happy those who rejoice in your prosperity. Happy are all the men who shall grieve over you, over all your chastisements, for they shall rejoice in you as they behold all your joy forever. My spirit blesses the Lord, the great King. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. Praise the Eternal King in all your deeds. The loyal heart must praise the Lord. Ring out your joy to the Lord, O you just, for praise is fitting for loyal hearts. Give thanks to the Lord upon the harp, with a ten-string lute sing him songs. O sing him a song that is new, play loudly with all your skill, for the word of the Lord is faithful and all his works to be trusted. The Lord loves justice and right, and fills the earth with his love. By his word the heavens are made, by the breath of his mouth all the stars. He collects the waves of the ocean, he stores up the depths of the sea. Let all the earth fear the Lord, all who live in the world revere him. He spoke and it came to be, he commanded, it sprang into being. He frustrates the designs of nations, he defeats the plans of the peoples. His own designs shall stand forever, the plans of his heart from age to age. They are happy whose God is the Lord, the people he has chosen as his own. From the heavens the Lord looks forth, he sees all the children of men. From the place where he dwells he gazes on all the dwellers of the earth, he who shapes the hearts of them all and considers all their deeds. A king is not saved by his army, nor a warrior preserved by his strength. A vain hope for safety is the horse, despite its power, it cannot save. The Lord looks on those who revere him, on those who hope in his love, to rescue their souls from death, to keep them alive in famine. Our soul is waiting for the Lord. The Lord is our help and our shield. In him do our hearts find joy. We trust in his holy name. May your love be upon us, O Lord, as we place all our hope in you. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Nourish your people, Lord, for we hunger for your word. Rescue us from the death of sin, and fill us with your mercy, that we may share your presence and the joys of all the saints. A loyal heart must praise the Lord. A reading from Romans chapter 13. It is now the hour for you to wake from sleep. The night is far spent, the day draws near. Let us cast off deeds of darkness and put on the armor of light. Let us live honorably as in daylight. My God stands by me, all my trust is in him. My God stands by me, all my trust is in him. I find refuge in him and I am truly free, all my trust is in him. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, 
My God stands by me. All my trust is in him. God has raised up for us a mighty Savior, as he promised through the words of his holy prophets. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets, he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, and holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High. For you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. God has raised up for us a mighty Savior, as he promised through the words of his holy prophets. Beloved brothers and sisters, we share a heavenly calling under Christ, our High Priest. Let us praise him with shouts of joy, Lord our God and our Savior. Almighty King, through baptism you conferred on us a royal priesthood. Inspire us to offer you a continual sacrifice of praise, Lord our God and our Savior. Help us to keep your commandments, that through the power of the Holy Spirit we may live in you and you in us, Lord our God and our Savior. Give us your eternal wisdom to be with us today and to guide us, Lord our God and our Savior. May our companions today be free of sorrow and filled with joy, Lord our God and our Savior. Let us make our prayers and praise complete by offering the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. God our Father, hear our morning prayer, and let the radiance of your love scatter the gloom of our hearts. The light of heaven's love has restored us to life. Free us from the desires that belong to darkness. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God.